What's going on guys? It's your boy Longlist Shar. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hook up the Zen to the PS5. So, first thing first, you're going to need the Hori. This is the most important thing. You need this for the Zen to work for the PS5. Without this, it's not going to work. This is not going to work. And the link for this will be in the description below. Um, I got it off of Amazon for 60 bucks. It's pretty expensive. For my younger subscribers and viewers, if you can't afford it, I'm sorry. That's just how it is for the PS5 at the moment. Um, people still haven't figured out the way for it to be working, for the Zen to work without this. So that's a, you need that. So I'm going to show you guys how to um, update the PS, the Zen. You need to update this before anything when you get it. So I'm going to show you how to update it. All right, guys, as you can see, I have the Zen hooked up to the PC with the shortest cord that came with the Zen. So you want to plug that in from the top to the PC. Now, at the same time, you want to see in the background, I have please select your device to continue open. Now, so what you want to do is on the back of the Zen, you want to hold that until it says Zen boot uploader. Now I gotta, I gotta hold it. There we go. It says Zen bootloader. Now you hold it until it says that. Sometimes I was holding it with my um, I didn't have it all the way down, so that's why I was having a hard time switching over like that. So with that, I'll meet you guys over onto the PC. As you guys can see, it says. Collective Minds, Kronos, Zen. You want to click that. Now, when you hear, it says use the latest firmware. Make sure that the blue is highlighted. You want to continue. Now, your device will update. Right now, I have the current update, so don't matter what mine says. But you want to update to the current one. So, begin update. From there, we wait. Fasten firmware. So after this, I'm going to show you how to um, hook it up to the PS5. All right, start over. Okay, it's updated, and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so guys, this is the next part. Now, as you can see in the background, I have the Zen Studio open. And then it says, please connect your Zen device to view your online library. So if you guys have not already downloaded the Zen Studio, it will be in the link in the description below, you gotta download that for this so you can use the Zen and program it. So, at the, so you see how it says, please connect. So what I'm going to do is plug in this cord. As you can see, it looks just like this. Onto the side that looks like that on the right side. Now, it's already plugged in. What you gotta do is plug it in from the side. Okay, as you can see, it's plugged in. Everything's connected. And from here on on the video, on the screen, I'm gonna sh show you guys the rest what to do. All right, guys, as you can see, the Zen is plugged in and working. What you want to do is go to device first. Now, as you can see, it says unnamed PS4. Right, but you want to make sure this is white. Right now, already is already white, so I'm gonna turn it to white. Now, which is emulator? You want to have PlayStation Four and Five selected. Right, not anything else. You want to have this, and which has remote slot, PS and share. All right. Now, once you do that, you want to unplug it. Unplug the cord that's connected to the Zen. Unplug that and plug it back in. Right? Now, once you do that, now we can program the device. As you can see, I already have a game pack already set up. As you, All you have to do is just scroll down right on all and just scroll until you, until you hit NBA 2K21. And you'll find it. It's a whole bunch of... It's not a bunch, but it's only three. We're going to use the Perfect Shot Crossbeam Edition. It's already selected from here. You could choose whatever hit that hit the one. And from here you gotta choose whatever you can choose whatever settings you want to make the perfect shot and whatever. Um 
I don't do it this way until I, I it's, it's a way you can do it from the Zen. And I'm gonna get to that once we get to the PS4, PS5 part. So as you can see, it's just yeah, you could make a perfect shot, send a shot unable, send a boost unable, send a boost profile and everything like that. As you can see, post fade, um, fade delay, and stuff like that. Right. So from there, you want to program device. Programming. And it should say successful on the screen. So and it's success. And from here, guys, I'm gonna show you how to hook it up to the PS5. All right. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm on the PS5, but I go in 21. So for this guy, so the thing is with this model, you can use it for PS4 edition and the PS5. So it doesn't matter which 2K you use, you can use it for both PS4 and PS5. The mod pack that I have on, on right now for the Zen can work for either one. So you're fine. So I'm gonna go to PS5. Uh, matter of fact, no, because everybody got to got a PS4. I'm gonna go to PS4. Then I'm gonna go to the PS5. So let's go to the PS4, and I'll see you guys there. Okay. So as you guys can see, I do not have the Zen. Well, as you guys can see, I am on the PS4. I'm in the court. This is a PS5. I'm on the PS5, right? This is the PS5. I'm on the PS5. So, I don't have the Zen hooked up, so I'm about to show a video. I'm going to hook up the Zen, and I'll be right back. All right. As you guys can see, I have the Zen right now. As you can see on the screen, I have is running at the same time we're doing this video. So, first thing first, you want to have the Hori connected to the right side of the Zen at the bottom, right? And now... You can have your PS5 controller connected to the Zen. Either you can use the one they, the, um, that came with the Zen or you can use the one that came with the Play. Either way, it doesn't matter. But I would prefer to use the longest cord from the Zen to the PS5 because, you know, it's longer. Um, I have the PS5 connected to the Zen on the left-hand side. This stuff do matter. So the Zen is on the right. The PS5 controller is connected to the left. And you have the um, cord from the PS5 going to the Zen, connect to the top. So this is going from the Zen to the PS5. So now, you see I was not on because I didn't plug it in yet. So what I'm about to do is plug it in right now. Okay. Just plug it in. All right, as you can see on the screen right now, it says switch controller. You want to do is push X and it should, there you go. And if you can see on the top right hand corner, you don't even see the, the charging thing anymore. You see is this bad boy right here. So that's how you know it's working, right? Now you can see it's, it's a little spacey. What you want to do is activate it. All right. Now what I'm gonna show you is on the controller, R1, see, it was green on the screen. So I'm do it again. As you can see, I'm not pushing nothing. I'm not pushing nothing, but I'm pushing this right here. Look. See, sometimes it, it acts up. But again, look, I'm not pushing nothing. It's nothing, nothing over here but the Hori. As you can see, I'm not pushing nothing. I'm pushing this right here. I'm pushing L1. As you can see, it was late. See, I'm still trying to perfect this thing because it's still brand new, guys. So no one, it's not perfect. Still trying to figure out the kinks of this thing. So I'm gonna do it again. Come on. There we go. It's late. So I'm still trying to perfect it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can give me some tips uh, of what's the best setting. So Remember when I say you can change the setting while you're playing the game? So this is what I mean. Right here, you see how it says for game pack menu, hold LT in menu. Okay. So what you want to do, one of the controls, hold LT and options. I'm trying to figure out how to do this with this uh, with the phone in my hand. Uh, you hold this, the options right here. You hold that and you hold LT and look 
as you can see, adjustable mod. I just did it again. I let go of them. Again, hold LT and hold the options on the PS5 controller and boom, it pops up. And that's how you could change the settings. Come on. You could change the justice stuff like that, as you can see. Right now, it may be moving on the game, but I'm just changing the settings and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that's how you connect the Zen to the PS5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be coming out with a part two. Hopefully, we can figure out like how can we make the perfect jump shot in this game with this shit. Because I'm really like I've been trying. I've been messing with it for a while, and I still have yet to perfect the jump shot. So. Hopefully, you guys can give me some hints and tips in the comment section below. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.